F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews where friends request friends to watch Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 2, Episode 6, titled. It's a business, man. <laughs> Dang, I mean, a title like that, man, everybody says that in this show. They could be they could be dancing on anybody's plot. That could be about unique. That could be about Crown and Lou. That could be about Rock sitting down with 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 the uh the mafioso. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff they could play with, but I hope that they take last episode's tone and just try to focus on one plot they could still play with the other things on the side but like try to focus on one thing moving forward i really do want to see i'm leaning towards the crown and loose situation especially since famous you know exposed it last episode yep but you know we'll see what they're playing with how you feeling over there bro like, i completely agree once i heard that title the first thing that popped up in my head was louis lou and uh crown that mm -hmm. that just sounds like something lou would say you know it's just you know, and yeah, I feel like this is gonna be their 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 uh, departure, uh, to <laughs> say the least. Yeah, man. But I'm also interested in just to see what um you know where Jukebox stays at. You know where, where mm. she stands at with her mom. We mm. you know we had prediction that something might happen within the church that that you know kind of draws her away from her mother and stuff like that. Yep. So yep. I'm just curious on on that end too. And of course, you know, obviously the man that we all. Here to watch, aka not Kanan. Uh, Mauve is, you know, I just want to see Mauve doing Mauve things. You know, is he gonna, is he gonna approach Tori? I said Tori. Uh, Tony, Tony <laughs> with an <laughs> eye. Cobra Kai. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but is he gonna approach Tony? Um, and is is it gonna be just another business adventure? It's just business. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. Is is Tony gonna get um get body this episode? It's possibility. I think that's pretty high. But I'm ready. Well, hey, he ready. I'm ready. I know y'all ready. So we ain't gonna hold y'all any longer. We just gonna fly right in. Y'all know what to do with the video. Like it. Drop some comments. Let us know how y'all feeling about Power Book Three Season Two. And most importantly, subscribe. The goal is 10K. Click the button. Click the bell. Get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's share your screens. Get it. Uh, hey. Niggas get nervous. Fingers get all itchy and shit on that trigger. Always coming. So they got ain't the no reason entire squad look. here. Ain't no reason to be nervous. That's how the fuck you gonna be scared of something that's always there. That's like being scared of the fucking moon. Moon ain't going nowhere, nigga. And neither is trouble. <laughs> that's facts. Mm, oh, shit. And they walking in like he the right hand. Cause when you building like we are, planting our flags in new territories, ain't no hill too small to die on. Mm. Now if we let them body us out of Jersey, it's gonna be open season on our shit everywhere. What she got in the works? Oh yeah. She working with Walter White in them. Yo. Madrigal. Madrigal, you feel me? <laughs> International. Rock. God, let you right. you, you, What you gonna say? I've been feeding unique this whole time. I'm I can't a snake. Wait for Kill me now. To get fuck Give me a minute. You still fucking with this shit? It really should have been scrappy. That's what we but... do, Uncle Lou. No. That's what she do. Mmm. You heard? Mm. I'm down with you. Whatever you doing. I'm loyal. Me and <laughs> Fools will tell you they're loyal. Don't gotta say that. They're the exact that. fools you gotta worry about. Exactly. Look at that. Get the shit out already. I ain't got all day. Get it right, yo. If you loyal, you ain't gotta say you loyal. She's shaking her head because she know this shit. She in too deep. And now she gotta keep a snake around. Just to tame another snake. So now you see. 95% of what I do is calming these fools down. Keeping their eyes on the prize. Don't look at your grandmother. She used to say... God gave men dicks so they have something to play with while they women did all the work. Wow, that's fucked up. Where's it at? Well, how 
was five. Uh oh. Thanks for pulling partner on it. Wasn't a whole lot of heavy lifting involved. I didn't. Yo, she really do be looking like What's an elf, though. Between 74 and 76, take a leave of absence or something? He could have if he shot someone. Could be undercover work. That wouldn't go in his regular employment file. You keep that information real close. I didn't know I worked undercover. Well, he's just saying if it's mm. undercover, he's not a plant. I mean, I guess maybe, you could take that maybe way. Maybe that's how he met Rock. Maybe she didn't know he was a cop, and that's how he was able to pipe. Because mm. mm. I'm like, bro, why would Rock smash a cop? Like, That would make sense. If it isn't the motherfucking gang who couldn't shoot straight, <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? Matter of fact, I've been meaning to ask you, how you miss this big nigga with a tech nine? While his head in between his bitch's legs and his back turned towards you. Damn. Damn. For real. He Lou was supposed to be the professional. That was that's ugh. But theory. You missed that nigga on purpose. Mm. I mean, it's clear to me. You just ain't got the heart for this no more, kid. Mm. Heads out the game. I got Italian problems, Nick. Sullies. Now, what the fuck you doing out in New Jerusalem, Rock? I got interest out there. And the Baselli's day in the way. And I'm hearing that you got connects to them. Mm. Right. No, we carpool it, nigga. That's cool. As long as I get to sit next to you. <laughs> Unique is the best thing uh, on this show. For sure. Yeah, I fuck with Unique. I'm, gl I'm, glad, I'm glad they brought him right back. Mm -hmm. Second season. I know you don't trust this motherfucker. Mm, of course not. Don't trust that one either. There you go. We ain't got no choice right now. Yeah, if Nick's links to the Italians is legit, like I said, she ain't too deep. You gotta play. 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 All kinds of right right now. Holy shit. The glow up is crazy. Oh, work boots, sweatshirts. A young woman, she look like a young woman. Yep. Not her, not it. That's you what's are stunning. That's what's gonna drive her away from her mom. That's what's gonna eventually yeah. push her into Burke. Cause I'm still waiting for that. I know that relationship gonna blossom. That's why she become a cop. That's the only connection I'm seeing. I mean, she could wear that dress really well, but the one thing she ain't wearing right now is a smile. Like, come on. Yep, there it goes right there. That look on her face. My job is, is high stress, man. Lots of employees who all got complaints. He's starting to talk. Look at him. Yeah, then we got these competitors. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Fools. Uh. He always eating. Got his always. <laughs> that's a big ass slim gym. gym. Yeah, if only that's she words, knew how much he was modifying his friends. language. <laughs> More than just a cuss word. Facts. And sometimes our words themselves can be angry. That is so true. Because I'd be wanting to slap the shit out of a guy. Do you remember? <laughs> but being angry is just not a good look. You know, I'm, I'm openly um, a, attractive. Attractive. Aggressive. Something Aggressive. like that. <laughs> <laughs> she loving it. She loving it. She about to drop the panties right now. Where you been, girl? Been around. Just doing what I do. Yeah? What's up with the gear? Just switching mm. it up a little bit. Exactly. They like, what the hell? This ain't the juke we know. For real. Hey for shit now? I'm Laverne's mother. Laverne? Who the fuck Laverne? What's your name, young man? I'll get with you later, Juke. Yo, we out. Hey, who do you juke fuck? No names. Wow, yo. Yep. Friend of yours? Famous new. It's a guy I know. Famous oh. always knew Juke was fine. <laughs> Left war a few times. They about to get back. by the warriors. It is in the scene where this man is not. Okay, buddy. Yo, if I ever act, bro, I want to be that character who's always eating. <laughs> right? TV food be looking fire. Always. Yo, facts. Damn. 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 Look at that coat. Man, you 
Nick pulled up in the limo with them. He pulled up with them? In the limo with them. What happened? I thought. You feel me? Thought I was riding with Shorty. Yeah, that's what I thought too. He's a close friend of the family. Yeah, I was too. Yeah. Prince among men. Huh? This drama between you and me has gotten out of hand. Yeah, I was telling Sal that uh, we were competitors at a point. He got himself back in the game. Now we work together. Something like that. You're going to us. You trying to get back in. You live near A. Murphy in Jersey? I'm in Westchester. Scarsdale. Scarsdale. Oh. Mm -hmm. Word. Connection. Yep. It's his way in. <laughs> that cancer can take keep him down. Jackie Bass. One amendment now agreement. Unique gonna run the operation at the work. Mm. I want someone there I know and trust. Wow. No unique, no deal. She had to mm. swallow the hell out of that. Let's go to the Thorno. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. We're going to Tatonos. Tatonos! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Yep. Oh, oh shit. my god, that was too perfect, bruh. They. Her brothers told her, too. Why are you letting Warrell run the New Jersey site? He a new yep. nigga from the other team. Yep. Oh, here we go again. Kanan can't keep his hands off the damn product. Feel me? Or is this way? She just said he had a bro, bro. learning and shit. Damn, bro. How much you hit? Yo, you seen the way it was folded? Brown bag right guy. Bag? Don't ask questions. Exactly. He just moves shit from one spot to another. You're supposed to be learning, buddy. And I'm teaching, nigga. Hmm. <laughs> don't stop with this brown bag guy shit. For real. I'll catch y'all later. Cause pretty soon I'm gonna be above your ass, guy. For real. And then what you going to survive nine bullets, <laughs> stab wounds, did hella sit-ups in, in Dr. Dre's gym. Pulling up. You know me? Hella smoke. Oh. Fly-ass necklace, famous. Twice on my neck, nigga. Not no more, it ain't. Hey, man, get the fuck out of here, Freddy. You know this shit ain't right. Run the rest of this shit. Look at this motherfucker. Grab that bag. <laughs> Hey, hey. Mmm, oh. they got the bread. Mmm. It's all business, man. I mean, my shit was gold plated anyway, okay? Nigga, the money was in that bag. Rock's money? First yeah. day on the job with Amari out here getting taxed. This nigga's got me looking like a straight fucking clown. So you better do something about it. We're gonna go get that shit back. Exactly. I don't know. Friday don't yes. play, Kay. I mean, maybe he write about all this shit. It's just what? the way the world works. Yeah, the way the world works is you gonna get that it. You gotta remember, Famous ain't about that life. I know he not, but he gonna get in too deep. Uh, I'm gonna need a hand loading that painting into your car. Well, there's your hand, bitch. Damn. What, you want another one? <laughs> now, when I pay for this shit, Packing was included. Yeah. You get that motherfucker. You take it down to my car right now. <laughs> Yo. He said, there's your hand, bitch. Man. Times like this, I miss D-Wiz, man. D-Wiz would have been ready. You ever not in the studio? Back. Ain't shit out there for me. How come you never told me that that song you gave me was your niece's? Mmm, confronted. She stepped to me outside my parents' house. She was crazy upset. Mm -hmm. Alone. And I'm singing to him. Who are you singing to, Ziza? Mm -hmm. You, Lou. Obviously you, bro. You the one who almost caused the car wreck. <laughs> Together in the stoop. She's like, I'm about to take the butter knife and the fork. And go Nothing. A bat? Cook out. Play baseball. I'm sorry, I'm not that Spanish, nigga. 
<laughs> that was perfect. Oh, man. Look, you got a couple knives we could use or not? Oh, so now it's two. Corinne, you don't ever get in the way of a man who wants to put in work in the kitchen. Follow me. Mm. Yep, follow her. She's gonna take you right to the bedroom. That's crazy. They giving them names now. I don't even think they gave her a name in the last episode that she was in. She Sounded to me like knife. this exactly. might be just it. what you need for whatever you took. Who are, it. man? Come on, Kanan. You gotta be smarter than this. Who are these mugs, man? It gets real hot in that kitchen, Kanan. Who is this lady, I'm yo? Bad. I'm still trying to figure it out. Like, yo. I mean, it could it, just be that Rock Kate, Sons, you know, just he got that swag. name ring bells. Yeah. I mean, it could just be that people know Rock's family, you know? Like, oh, mm, there you go. <laughs> it's time to do that stream math, nigga. Hope your punk ass know how to subtract. Yep. Let him, let him rip. Mm. There we go. Something. Yep. Man, my boy just survived a racist... Mob from the in the Catskills. Mm. Mm. Here we go. This is Savage King. It's supposed to be like where where he's been at for two seasons. Yo, yo, King, yo, nigga, let's go. He was all skittish anyway. Oh, and I'm taking it. I don't care if it's gold plated. It's about the respect. <laughs> oh, and they got that back. Come on, famous. Get up. Oh my god, if Famous still got the book bag with the money, bruh. I can't lie, for a while I wasn't even sure if she knew or not. What the fuck you just say? Kenya is here, Marvin. She living up in Harlem. This bitch Kenya wanna show up 16 years later for a party already bought and paid for so she can blow out the fucking candles on the cake? Moss, Moss, we gotta go. I, look, 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 they, they grabbed Famous, they threw him in the back of the right, Just take a breath, breathe. No, that shit ain't on us. Famous is my boy, man. I can't leave him in there. We don't pay to take on other people's problems. Famous, that's on his family, not ours. He got your Ooh. bag, though. What she said. Damn. That's not what we do. That's what she do. Mm -hmm. I know, come on, bro. Mm -hmm. I like that tie back. I like that. I like that. Bro, nah, this, these, these beautiful. last two episodes, man. We got to see who who wrote this one. We got to see it. I can't get hurt again, Shannon. I'm not going to hurt What did she you. do? She a player. Look at her. She one of the guys. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> Damn. We need just yeah, we need you in these type of outfits, all right? Not them big body turtle fucking suits they be having. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even gonna bring that shit up. I was thinking I about had like to, because what she wearing like... right now, she got them leggings. Ooh, she looking all types of right. Ain't That's seen like... you in a dress um since Easter when you were two years old. Hmm. She despises this dude. Come on, man. man. Come on, dude. Okay. Pass the potatoes, man. I can't take this no more, man. Damn. We already talked about it, Keenan, and ain't nothing left to say. It ain't right to just let him sit there, though. That's my brother. You yeah, well, your brother got rest. a different mother, so she gonna have to deal with that. And he don't want to tell her what's really going on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need to... Come on, man. Tell her about the money. Got me in lock up. Trying to keep my clock up. Niggas get they talk up, their body getting chalked up, moving all this rock up to beam your ass Man, like Spock up. Yeah. Press him. The streets need a body. Uh, okay, that's they, you, right? They memorize it, okay. Shit, yeah. What's up? Yeah, that's me. Is it beef or It's just dope, love. right? What's up? I don't listen to that noise. And I seen a gang here tapes in the trash anyway. Mm. Shit must be garbage. Mmm. <laughs> You just gonna let him punk you like that in jail? Come on, man. He tried it. Got, got me up and locked up. About to get rocked <laughs> up. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Jew. <laughs> um, Damn, Jew. Catch you with you later. Bro, relax. No, bro. School. Did you see the arch? <laughs> they in high school. She ain't in high Is she in high, high school in real life? Hell I don't yeah. know. They, well, Is she? I don't know. Probably oh. not. I don't know what. Yeah, of course what not. They can't they be actors or. 
They can't have young actors. Ooh, Police got nah. the money. All high school students are played by. There he go. He said it. Wait, what? He whispered it. The cops took the money, man. The shit you move from Basley? Your mom count every fucking penny, Kane. The best you give her heads up before she do the math. What the hell, no? <laughs> do the math. That's why I need to get famous out the money, get out with him. You think them dirty ass cops are gonna give up all that loot? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. They already splitting that shit up between them to go pay for some pussy over at Hunts Point. Mmm. <laughs> no, sis. The boy came to talk to me. Okay, she telling him. Crime. I said he was looking for a way to get out from underneath all y'all's bullshit. Wow. He asked me to help him move you. I appreciate her. Said you wasn't him good at that music shit. <laughs> but you were just getting in the way. <clears throat> that I should just let you go after all. In fact, maybe it's not my subconscious. Maybe it's my conscious. Mm. All right, now they bring up the crown business. We ain't seen them all episode. Yeah, but you already know, 18 episodes later, they're finally going to deal with that. Come on, man. Just like I mean, you said. Might, they might give him the last five minutes of screen time and whack his ass. It's like that show that we not going to mention. <laughs> I ain't going to make more of this than necessary. You ain't going to be running shit out here. That was nothing personal. It's just a change that's got to be made. This motherfucker? I don't get it. Well, you don't need to. Mm. My fuck ain't been mm. around. You don't know how shit work out there? You reading from the book I wrote, son. Fuck this and fuck y'all. Mm. Best of luck then, brother. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he threw that last fuck you out there hella quick. You a guest here, nigga. Don't be putting your feet up on the fucking furniture. <laughs> <laughs> she trying to, she trying to put down them lessons Every, that she learned from old boy. Every single person in this fucking show got a fire ass coat, man. Look at that coat. That shit is fire. I remember the Shirley's growing up. Alright, come on. Oh, look who it is. Oops. Oh, oh, he gonna remember. Hard time with that. Oh, look he who he went to go. Hard time. He got his dad. He was in a holding cell. Ah. Fell me. Plus, he, I got some real shit to rhyme about. He definitely recognized <laughs> Wow. It's right outside the precinct. For real. This is crazy. Oh, oh the, here it goes. God. Here it goes. Yo, Season finale. I she gone. She just said her name. She gone. just said her name. I summoned her. You did. Questions you still might have. Mm, the record. I'll take it out later. Hey, didn't she keep saying that? Why don't he just give him the test results? I'm treading lightly because it's yep. still early in this thing between us. The man's a clown, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Popularity gonna be through the roof. Except popularity gonna be through the roof. You feel me? That's just famous, man. Man, he put in his get work. this dude with his shirt, man. Someone smacked it. Man, he about to get DDT. Yeah, smacked the damn design off his shirt, like. Belly. Mm. Belly suplex. You know, it was one thing when I heard that you were smashing just behind my back. Mm. But I ain't one to let bitches get in the way of business. Mm -hmm. The fuck you know about business, Luke? You mm -hmm. ain't over your head. All you are is rocks, baby brother. That's all you ever gonna be. Close the door. You feel me? It's about time. Mm -hmm. Damn. Punch his lights out. Like, <laughs> literally. Nigga okay, said this is how, all business. This is how yeah, you get back into it, friendly. boy. Let's see the assassin in you. Yes. Definitely rocks, baby brother, huh? That's mm -hmm. what you ever gonna be. Don't forget who the motherfucking killer is in the family. Oh, you ain't know, personal, did you? Real personal. Fast and fucking hard. Like, he really I is. It. I respect it. He made it all the way across the room. Ooh, and through a boat. Let me tell you about these rhymes, these nursery rhymes. Let me put you to sleep real quick. Permanent. It is. Yeah, there we go. Finally, Lou. Finally, you becoming the killer you're supposed to be. Hurt niggas, hurt niggas. Yo. You feel me? I've been waiting this whole season for this to happen. I've been waiting since season one. The streets need a body. Bags. <laughs> yeah, he did. So what we gonna do with him now? And you know oh. he did. Wow. 
What? That was wow. That was random. Okay. Uh, All right. There you have it. Power Book Three: Raising Kane in Season Two, Episode Six in the books. It's a business, man. It's a business, man. We here, man. We at the we we over the half season mark, and 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 I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling nice, man. These last two episodes have been very, 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 very good for me to watch. So I enjoyed today's episode definitely. How you feeling over there, Ballad? Yeah, this episode was great. Um, even though it, it, it has, you know, just just a little glimpse of, you know, the, the stuff that we don't like about, you know, power. But overall, the writing in this episode was really well done. The acting in this episode was really well done. Um, and just the scenarios that some of these characters are in are just, you know, they, they done well. Like I said, they... they they did play around with a little bit too much stuff, in my opinions. I feel like they should have just kind of streamed it. But, you know, that's just power. You know, ain't nothing we could do about it. Probably the most... I mean, obviously, Crown getting bodied is probably one of the most <laughs> things of the episode. But yeah. I think the way that Unique, you know, finagled his way back into the game. Definitely something, definitely something to, to talk about, man. This is... Yep. He a problem, dude is a problem. Like and and, and I, I like like we seen it. We we seen how when he uh, took the money, you know what I'm saying, out of the store, that he he told her like I just want you to know you can still be touched. And then from there it was it was never over. Like I I knew he wasn't gonna slow down. I'm pretty sure Bradley knew he wasn't gonna slow down. Mm -hmm. They even tried to take him out of an episode or two to try yep. to like. Be like, where is Unique at? But my man came back strong, man. Yeah. But I still think Warrell needs to, oh, need to get that man up out of course, here. Of course. But the, the, the be the, one of the best things about that is that the reason why he was talking to the Italians is because he has ties with them. So that angle I didn't see. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, I'm liking that from his, uh, from his story, you know? Oh, okay. See, they they they're doing the they're doing this shit again, okay? Where the oh we're gonna put a little piece here and it's supposed to pay off later and you know what I'm saying? That's basically what it was. The dude that he saved at the jail cell was supposed to be the guy that he helped out, right? Mmm, that was <laughs> that was the instant, like bro. You feel me? Now you see why I started that laughing. That was not the same dude. It Bro, really it same has dude. to be. It has nah, nah, to be. It, it is. No, it is. It's just like when I'm I'm looking at it in my head again, <laughs> I, I just felt like bro was a little bit more uh, tan and like, I don't know. I thought he was a little bit more brown skin or some shit like, but. No, it wasn't the I, big boss, big boss, but I think it was one of the, the underlings. No, nah, no, nah, it was, it was the dude. It was, it was the dude who uh, said he lives in Scarsdale. Yes. Yes, yeah, that, that's that exactly was, that was for sure him. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. him. Like, it's yeah, just so, funny because, you know, yeah. You know, yeah. we talk about the shit that they do in power and they did it again. And it's just like, really, it they even really hit like that. But at the same time, whatever power, that's how you do your business. It's just business, man. I understand. <laughs> I feel you. But um, it's the business, man. <laughs> but yeah, this this episode was, was great, man. You know what I'm saying? We had the... To me, I, I enjoyed the Kane and stuff, to be honest, because we're finally, mm -hmm. finally starting to get to see that other side of the man that we've been dying to see. Like, how long is it going to take for this man to become ruthless and, 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 and um, just heartless? You know what I'm saying? Completely heartless. We, we got a little glimpse of that in this episode, which was great. You know, so him taking initiative, you know, after being robbed, well, I thought it was a great... Uh, a great route to take but the the main confusing thing i have about that whole situation was obviously was the daughter and the mother how yeah. do they come into the situation you know what i'm saying what what are their what is the point of them like what did if, you just say though 
I know what I just said. Just a little glimpse. So then later down the line, season four, they go, oh like, yo, this is this is the gun from an undercover you... DA. Like, <laughs> yo, I swear to God, bro. If they do something like that, bro, I'll be crying. Like. Bro, I'm telling you. But man, but nah, yeah. that part that part was pretty crazy because the, the last time we saw them, they didn't even give them names yet. Like they just showed how flirtatious they were. Mm-hmm. The daughter stayed at the crib and partied and stuff like that. And then now we got names. The daughter's name is Corinne. I forgot what the mom's name was, but they, they're already, basically they're established. I feel like you give people names, you're trying to establish these characters a little bit more. And then especially her giving Kanan the gun, that's a lot more than a side character. So I agree, like, and I'm I'm completely confused too. Like, what what is the mom's motive? Like, who is she? Is it just, oh, I know Rock's family? But it can't be. That's too boring. If that's the if that's the, the way in, that's just way too boring. So I know it's not that. And I know f- a power is way more fun than that. So I'm curious what the hell her motive is. Like, because they're not giving any clues. Any, any at all. Any. any. I'm trying to. But one thing we do have to remember, uh, I do agree it's good to finally see Kanan, you know, get a little bit more savage. But we got to remember, we still got a long way to go. Like, the Kanan we know is, like, in his 30s. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They still teenagers. They still 16, yeah. 17 years old. So, you know, we, we see in the transition. But we ain't, I don't think we'll ever get to what we think we know. I think or at will. least what we think we're going. I mean, I don't think until he gets a lot older. Like, I think that, we, well, we still haven't met Breeze and all that. Because, like, like that, that's, like, the to me, like, this is, of course, his origin. But, like. When we get to Breeze and stuff, that's going to be, like, the true, true transition. Like, because that's that's who, you know, taught him and Ghost the game. Like, that's probably when shit really get crazy Do you think? Do you think that, okay, right, we play around with season two. Season two happens, right? Then season Mm -hmm. three comes around and, boom, Kanan kills his mother, right? Boom, that starts the transition. And then that's when Breeze and them come in season four after he's already kind of made the transition into becoming a savage. Cause I, I feel like you are right. There it is, it is a long way, like until we see this man's transition. Unfortunately, because you know these motherfuckers don't know how to tell time. Like, damn man, <laughs> shit. I mean, we might for all we know we can get a time skip. But how do you even know we might even get the breeze and the the, the ghost stuff? Like in that's what show. I'm saying. We might. I, I was gonna say that I don't want to even try to think that far because we might not even get any exactly. Of that. That's what I'm saying. Cut this story and never connect it to that and. If they do it right, I wouldn't even be mad at them, to be honest. So. I, I'm I'm not even expecting that, to be honest, out of this story. Like, what I'm expecting is Kanan to kill his mother. That's what I'm expecting. Okay, that's what I've been getting out of this season, for sure, for sure. Them vibes mm-hmm. are there. So, that's that's what I'm expecting. As long, you know, I'm not saying as long as they do that, because, you know, it could go millions of other ways. But I honestly believe that's the right path to... You know, to complete his story, to make him the savage that he's supposed to be, and I think often his mother is probably that that step that he needs to take. Yeah, we'll we'll see what that looks like. Just to keep it contained to the episode, though, one thing that I am really curious about is, uh, with unique story is like what happens with old girl from the bodega. Like, did, like she, I remember she, you know, she kind of I wouldn't say she threatened Raquel, but. She, she, she just voiced, huh? I said she didn't threaten her for sure. Definitely. Yeah, that's what I said. She didn't threaten her, but she voiced enough of her opinion, and and she brought up like her cousin and stuff like that. Like, so that's why I'm saying, like, you bring up other people who are dangerous to me. That's a slight threat. So, like, I wonder what that's gonna be like. Like, is are they gonna play with that, or did they just dead a character? You know, what well, I'm saying? no. Like, once again, once again, the 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 power of power the, <laughs> that's what we're gonna call it the power of power is, the that's power is, of power is exactly what that is the power of <laughs> inserting one little fraction of something and thinking that's gonna pay off later on like no it needs to build up okay like Lil Wayne build the beat up you need to build it up like that okay damn do that. <laughs> they just give you a smidgen and then they surprise you ten episodes later. Oh my god! But I just feel like I feel like it has some. I feel like with Unique's power growing, mm-hmm. like I feel like that's gonna come into play. Like she's gonna come maybe help Rock or something. Cause I don't know, dude. Unique is 
he's a formidable foe. And even coming out of jail, he just he literally just came into power. How much time didn't pass by? I don't even know. But it hasn't even been six months yet, I don't think. Like No. Nah. Well, it's been three months from the beginning of the first episode. And from the first episode to now, it's only been like a month, two months, yeah, you go. probably. So it hasn't been six months yeah, yet. Yeah, so, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? He came out of jail and got it popping. So, like, I don't see him not... I don't see him not getting any bigger, basically. Like, he, he's only going to go up from here. So, like, I, I just wonder, like... I'm just... That's just a random scene that I just remembered. I'm just I wonder if that's going to ever come it's back just, into play. Like, It's so sad to see that Rock <laughs> is such a fucking, like... She's so smart, right? But yet she's so <laughs> fucking dumb. Why would you think Warrell putting Warrell out there would be a good idea, man? Because now look at the situation she's in. And then on top of that, why would you think Unique giving you your money back is like a a valid option like for him? He literally has you by the click. And you not doing nothing. And then he gives you your money back and don't think he got something else planned? Nah, for real. Like, come on, man. I know nah, he gave that real. whole spew of like, oh, you know, I, I can never do business and all that. What real dope but man that's says. Real though. No, what real that's, dope that's man comes out of jail though. and says, they got me by the balls. There's nothing I could do. No, they go out there and they keep hustling and then get bagged again. But look what he did though. He said, "I'm I'm dead in these streets, yeah, in the in in, in these yeah. South Jamaica Queen streets, and I went to New Jersey." That's every, what he said. He said, "Every place got a, a, a unique man. Every hood got a unique." Well, Jersey so, got one now. And you feel me now? I mean, Jersey got one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you though, Rock. I honestly, she, you know, like Lou says, she she plays her game, man. Sometimes she does need to listen to. To the people on on the side, like, and, and she normally doesn't, and then she ends up getting it to a point where she got a, she has no choice but to play the hand that was dealt, like, yeah. So, it was a, it's a really good play from Unique. I'll just leave it at that. It was Dude. a phenomenal play. I didn't even yeah. see that coming, like, to be honest, yeah. and <laughs> and to insert himself like that to be like, listen, you ain't moving nothing in New Jersey if it ain't Unique behind it. So now you can't even kill the man. So, um, yeah, Yo, Rock, you feel me? She can't, can't even a, kill him. Can't if even he, kill him. And if he wanted to, he could just cut her ass out of here. To like, me. you know what, bro? bro? I don't even fuck with her like that. You tell, tell, the, tell the Italians, I don't even fuck with her like that, bro. <laughs> you, I just needed this spot. You like, need his on some Heisenberg shit, bro. He yeah, on he, some Heisenberg shit, bro. He killed. He Basically, this situation is equivalent to Gail getting shot. And now he has no choice but to... To stay with Walt, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And now she has no choice but to be in business with the Unique. Yep. <clears throat> so if she offs Unique, now she got a problem with the with the Italians. Italians. Yeah. Like, exactly. It, so yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. That like this episode did some. This it was good. yeah, it was good. It was good. Man. It was good. It was good. You know, um, and, and then, uh huh. Go I ahead. was gonna say the, the the final thing for me is uh, obviously the Juke and. You know, Marvin's situation and her, and her mom's. I forget her mom's name. Um, but, yeah, that situation seems like it's somewhat building up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, what surprised me is that Jukebox is trying to make that transition into, like, you know, kind of acting like a lady. Mm -hmm. Or at least appearing as one. Yeah. So, I think you, we are right. Like, that's going to tie into somehow... Possibly, probably someone pushing up a little bit too much upon her, and then something happens like that, you know. Um, and then you know she ends up going back to the to the dark side. Yeah. Like you said, she did have that moment in season one where she wanted to be in the game, and Kanan wanted to be in the books, right? Was it that way? Nah, she wanted. She to be wanted in to be books. in the books. Yeah, and Kanan. But she wasn't getting the resources like Kanan was. Yes, she, exactly. She had Uncle Marv as her parent. Kanan had Rock trying to put him in programs. Exactly. So, exactly. Like, so this is now, this this could be her chance of getting that, you know, getting that. Uh, yeah, it could be. I think it's going to be a combination of just her mother not accepting her, and then and that's going to basically crush mm. her. Like, because 
again, it's the early '90s. Um, she's a lesbian. Like her mother is in the church. church. So oh, she's she... probably gonna, you know, what I'm saying she's gonna condemn because everything she say is like what they call it traditional. I'm gonna put the quotes on it, right? They call it traditional, traditional no, church it's a, you lady, gotta put right? The quotes, it's lady, you know what I'm saying? This is what a lady look like. This is what a lady dress like. This is what a lady act like. So when she let her know that, hey, I ain't even mm. that type of lady. This ain't that type of party. I think she's gonna get pushed away, and then. Now that she has no parent in her corner, that's where she's going to go push to Burke, who is also a lesbian. So she's going to be able to connect with her a little bit more. And then that's why Juke is going to become a cop in the future, because the person that she connects to in, you know, teenage years, very pivotal years in your life, especially that the senior, junior to senior, because they're like 16, 17, 18 around that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, th those. Yeah. So she's going to get influenced by Burke and stuff like that. Like. I even I even think that Burke's gonna get Juke to help um, bring down Howard and and um, with Kanan, which is gonna be Ooh. really sucky. But deal, yo. All right, so quick. Yeah, I'm pushing them. I'm shooting them yeah, things nah, out there, bro. Rod, first of all, your your theory on um, her mother pushing her out because she's a lesbian. Damn, if fucking think about that. That's a fantastic point. Like, I don't even think she knows. Like, and this episode really shows it that she doesn't know that her daughter is a lesbian. So with that, yeah, she might get pushed. To, I don't, I don't see her getting pushed to the cop. But if she do, and then, then the cops try to help her, what type of scenario is this gonna be? Like, you feel me? Like, right, they, do you not remember in season one they was already building a relationship? Oh no, yeah, I, I, I know that, but. That's what I'm saying. What type of scenario are we going to see here? Are we going to see a scenario where the, the partner confronts Howard and then Howard has no choice to body her and then Juke sees that and then it, it becomes a fucking, I kill you, but now I'm going to kill you because you killed the one woman that only, you know, saw me as the person who I was <laughs> and now I have to kill you. And it's just like, damn, now the three motherfuckers dead. And I don't know. Man. My head just <laughs> went everywhere. <laughs> It's going to be crazy, man. It is. That's all I know. It is. It's Hopefully we crazy. get this sooner than later, though, because they really are dragging some of these stuff a little bit. Yeah. Like, I thought the the um, the um Lou and the Camacho shit was going to drag another episode before we get anything. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they, they, they blessed us at there, you know, at the end there. So. Yeah. And they also just threw a bunch of other little things in there. I mean, although a lot of the little things they threw in there can be used for older plot movement, but still, like, for example, the the drunk the drunk homeless yep. dude, like yep. identifying yep. Kanan, freaking Burke running up and, and and identifying Howard. We got uh uh I can't I always forget how to pronounce it. I think it's Ziza Ziza witnessing Ziza. the murder of of Crown. Yep. Damn, I think was... that was some ride or die shit though. She seemed to come in at the end of it, and she looked shaken up, but but she still said, you know, like shit. Well, what do we do from here? So I'm I'm pretty interested because she's related to Cartier, and he's a straight up go he he an OG. He a, so, yeah, he an OG. Yep, you yep, know, yep. I'm not saying she's part of that life, but she might know a little enough about it to know that the 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 right move was what she did. You know, what I'm saying it definitely wasn't yes. the. Ah! Go tell somebody, you know yep. what I'm saying? So he would have lassoed yeah. her ass back, like, <laughs> <laughs> the Bring cable, ass like... for real, like. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm real interested. We got four more episodes. I wonder what what the the climax of season two is gonna be. Like... Man, we've been here for a while, but damn, that climax of the season, it gotta be Howard and his partner. Obviously, that's one of them. Um. Yeah, I, I feel I like that that's... happens. I hope that's not the main climax though, because Howard got shot in the end of season one. So I don't want hit. I don't want the end of season two to be another climax around Howard getting but, shot or Howard killing Burt. Like so, I then what would be the what, what what would be the the climax for you then? Like what would be the climax? Would it be Unique's uh, demise? Would that be the climax? Unique's and Worrell? I feel like episode nine would be like a Worrell. Get him dead and boom, better. You feel me? Yeah. Like three episodes from now, I can see Warrell dying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, by Lou. Lou got to handle that since Scrap and, can't and, do it. And now that he got his <laughs> his mojo back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got that that could be the, 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 you know, the pushing factor, but. <sighs> they could just come out of right field and do some wild shit where, like, 
Rock is in danger and Cardia coming to her rescue and Symphony come to her rescue at the same time and Cardia get confused and blow Symphony away. <laughs> now I'm just playing. <laughs> What? Space some random ass shit, no, right? I don't listen. think Symphony ever coming back. He ain't coming. He got wrote off. You, yeah, they wrote that man. They, off, they wrote like, that man off the page. He ain't never like, coming back on. Never. That was they my put breeze. my they put my man <laughs> name on the wall. They took his name off the page and put him on the wall. They say he ain't never coming back. That's it. But nah, I wouldn't. That's a good. I don't know. I don't know how. What like I would want. It, Cause it doesn't be... even have to be a death, right? Like no, it, it has to be a death. Be a death. It has to be a death. Yeah, I feel like power, especially with the amount of characters that's still lying around. Somebody got to get bodied. Bro. Okay, so chopping block, Warrell. Warrell I still got sure go. famous there. I still got famous. They playing around with famous. He might survive another season, but that man yeah. stay on the chopping block. Like I guess he <laughs> he's drafting good... his way out of it. I think he's a good character to keep though because he's he's like that. He's he's that representation of of the innocent that that innocent that's in the hood that just you know gets wrapped up in the mix like yeah I sometimes they make it out sometimes they don't so I feel like he should last at least to the last season if if they are gonna kill him off like um, but yeah Warrell is not obviously not season finale worthy so you're right like maybe eight or nine for him I don't think Unique could get taken out in this season after this play after this, this play episode. yeah you yeah. might be right. But it could be a bold move by Rock, though. If, like, fuck bro, it. What if fuck she bodies Italians. the fucking... You feel me? What if she bodies the, the Italian dude? If she the do that, then I'm calling this uh, 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 book 3.4. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ain't no way you could just get away with the more. Italians like that, bro. You feel me? It, t- it used to take Ghost and Tommy full seasons to take... How many years out. did it take the fucking government to get rid of the damn... The mob, <laughs> eighty something years, like they damn. still out shit. You like, feel me? They so just like, operate a on. little differently. Yeah, I don't, bro, I don't know, man. It, it might be the Howard Burke situation, honestly. I think that's like, the climax, bro. I really do it probably, because it probably they, will be. They're they're the ones who's trickling the more. Damn, that's suspicious. Like you know, what I'm saying the such shit. It's yeah. really between them two, because like today we got not only her witnessing Kanan, we also got her. Possibly being, well, they show her, Kanan, and the the crackhead dude all in one yeah, scene. Exactly. So that's, I feel that's like more than enough. You feel that's me? I feel enough. like that's that's that right there is just like a. Come on now, come on now. Yeah. They literally laying it out there for us. And so. she got the the undercover information, so she's she's getting too. Like even if it even if you wrote it out and it didn't make sense, like to someone on the outside looking in she's close enough to put the pieces together so like mm-hmm. boom 15 16 years ago he went undercover Kanan 16 years old mm. the freaking drunk dude uh um, he's in the priest identified Kanan twice right the first time they didn't believe him but if he do it twice like come on that's a problem did he but, identify him the first time well, he didn't identify him like by face, but he said the dude was younger. Like he was like okay. it was a younger, like a young cat. But they was just like you know he a drunk, he a homeless crackhead. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Like I, so, he, like that's what I'm saying on paper. On paper, from the outside looking in, you could be like, oh, this dude tripping. But her from the tr- the breadcrumb she's been following, she would probably believe it if she hears him say it again. Like oh, okay, a younger dude. Oh, Kanan. Oh, that. Oh, pff. here we I go. I think I think this is this is. Swear to God, if I get this power, y'all need to hit me up. I I do need a job. Um, she going to be in the precinct, just chatting it up, and then she going to overhear the crackhead say something. And then she going to be like, wait, <laughs> hold up. What you mean? And then she the crackhead going to be like, oh, yeah, I saw the dude that shot Howard with Howard outside the precinct. And she going to be like, mm. yeah, came over. And then she gonna approach him like, I know you didn't want to do it because that's your son and blase blase. Three shots to the chest because you know. Because she's gonna do approach shit like him Kano. dolo. Yep. She's gonna approach him by herself because of the, the, the talk that she had with her dad about trusting your partner. Yep. So she's yep, gonna yep. approach him by himself. You know, that's gonna be it. Bye bye. There you have it. FWR crew predicting everything. 
But so I'm good, on. man. I, I I really like this episode. You me got too. any final thoughts, or you just want to score it? No final thoughts. I go straight into the score. Um, I give this one an A five. I thought it was good. Uh, a great episode. Like I said, it, it, it's plagued with some of the stuff that I don't like about Power, but at the same <laughs> time. I think the writing kind of made up for that. That's why I kind of give yeah. it the five. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. eight five. I feel that. I feel that. I think I'll give it like a like an eight seven, eight point seven. Mm, okay. I agree. The, the the it's it's the power of power. Like I think this is the formula we just gonna have to accept, man. It <laughs> yeah, is what it is. No matter how much we complain, man, it's the power of power, man. I bought the shirt. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I got me. So I but I I will say this though. Like I said, ever since mid-season, so episode five, I've been having a really good time. Me too. Um, and there was a couple of episodes within the first four that I enjoyed too, but it was probably uh, less than more. But now, I think we're on a, a really good trajectory to a nice-ass finale. So, y'all already know what it is, man. If y'all still here for the end talk, I know this one was a long one. We was on it, but we appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all taking part in the end talk. Y'all drop them comments down below. Make sure y'all refer to what we talking about. And drop some timestamps, too. Sometimes I'll be forgetting. Like I'll be like, what, you, what did I say that they referred to? <laughs> what did Brolic say? Facts. But uh, y'all know, man. Like the video. Drop the comments. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, man. Also, don't forget to subscribe. All right, y'all? Have double R out. Peace. Peace.